Well, let's take a look at an interesting little Pong console back from the early days of Radio Shack. Uh, this came out basically in the late 70s. If I remember right, it retailed for around $30, which I think is around $100, about $120 in today's monetary value. Interesting little Pong console. What's neat about it, it's all self-contained. Basically, you're going to hold the console itself while you play the game. This is player number one here. And then your buddy, player two, would use this one. Now, you're not going to be sitting side by side. It actually detaches. So your buddy can take his controller to play the game. Kind of neat. Get in there. So let's take a close look at the console and see what all, what all this does and what it looks like on the screen. Well, here's a closer view of the unit itself. We have our selection switch here, just like between the four different games it comes preloaded with. Of course, we have tennis, which, you know, is Pong. We have a hockey game. We have squash. And we have practice, which is basically a one-player uh, squash-type game. Uh, you just basically keep the balls going as as long as you can. <laughs> Our on-off switch. We have a ball speed switch. We select like between a fast ball or slow moving ball. We have the bat size switch. We have a small bat. We have a large bat. Then we have the slice. What this does is control what angle the ball leaves the paddle. So we put men It'll leave the paddle at a lower angle, typically. Put it at max, it'll leave at a sharper angle from the paddle. Then we have the manual auto serve button. In manual mode, you would hit the button here, serve button, to serve the ball. Otherwise, you put it to auto, and every time the ball goes out of play, it'll serve the next ball up automatically for you. We have our reset switch here to reset the console. Then we have our two controls right here for player one and player two. Now looking on the back of this, we have our channel select switch, channel two or channel three, has its own built-in speaker, does not use the sound of the TV at all, so you put it on mute, and all the sounds comes from this speaker right here. And this thing is a friggin' battery hog. Got four crossed here, plus there's two more batteries down underneath here. This thing is a pig on batteries. And of course, we have our regular RF cable here, plugs into our switch box. So let's hook this thing up and take a look at some of the games on it close up. All right, we initially turned it on. We get our little tennis game here because I got tennis selected first. Basically, it's Pong. So here's player one, player two. The paddles are really responsive, pretty nice. And of course, we can flip the paddle size here. You see it cuts them in half. Makes the game more challenging. We'll do manual serve. So hit the serve button. And out comes the first ball. Oh! So that was set on maximum slice. So let's put it on minimum slice. And see what it looks like. As you can see, it deflects the ball at a shallower angle. Which makes it really easy to get the ball stuck in an endless loop here. Which makes it easy to demonstrate the fast speed now. So we'll do fast ball speed. There's the fast speed. Go back to slow. Now I'll hit the maximum slice angle. Watch what happens when I do it. It changed the angle. Pretty awesome. Of course, the next game we got here, we have hockey. So each player controls two sets of paddles. Pretty cool. As you can see, when it passes through the back of your other paddle, it'll actually change the angle of the ball. So you can try to get to go through the scoring posts. Whoa! Oh, ha, ha. Then, of course, the next one is squash. Which is basically handball. Oh, I totally missed it. Oh. 
There we go. And each player takes a turn hitting it. Until one guy misses. Next game is practice. So this would be the single player Pong game, basically. So you just sit here and just hit the ball back and forth. La 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 la. So much fun. You gotta remember, you know, back when these came out, when these Pong units were first coming out in the 70s, it was quite a big deal to be able to control something on your TV screen. These little, these little Pong units were very, very popular back then. I, I remember them quite well. Uh, everybody was messing around with these things and talking about them. So it's kind of neat to be able to see some of these older Pong units. I never really got a chance to mess with them when I was a kid. I remember seeing these at Radio Shack itself. I actually played a demo one they had set up at Radio Shack back in the late 70s. I thought it was pretty neat. But yeah, pretty neat. So that was TV Scoreboard by Radio Shack. Thanks for watching.